And joining us on Sports Sunday, the Dean of Portland Sports, Kerry Eggers, the author of Jerome Kersey, Overcoming the Odds. Jerome is one of the most beloved trailblazers of all time. Can you just describe the connection that he had with the fan base and the city of Portland as a whole? Yeah, and, and still has, Orlando. It's funny, we've done about 24 uh, book events uh, since the book launched on, on October 5th. And there's almost every one of them, there's a story. He was an approachable type person, and he really was. And uh, uh, he was a guy that lived in the community for 30 some years, actually a little bit more than that, and uh, and never left. And, and people, I think, just felt like he was one of them. There are quotes from lots of NBA legends throughout the book. Who stood out to you? Yeah, I'd say Charles Barkley was probably the first one to call me back. And I didn't realize they had a, a strong relationship. You know, uh, Charles with his Nike connection was in, in Portland virtually every summer. And also he played in golf tournaments here. And every he said every time that I came to town, I got together with Jerome, we were good friends. And another guy was John Stockton, who uh, went to the Portsmouth Invitational with Jerome in 1984 and kind of got discovered at the same time. They both had great things to say about Jerome. Uh, from ex-Blazers, I think Sam Bowie was a guy who had some great insights on just what a kind of person he was. He was a guy that carried uh, Sam to the locker room when he broke his leg. I would also say Buck Williams. And, and at the end of our conversation, he said, Kerry, please uh, uh, lead a, he says, let the people know that, and let the Blazers know they need to retire Jerome's number 25. Wow. And that isn't the first time I've heard that. It should be. I think, you know, look at the guys that are up there. He's more deserving than a number of the players that are up there now. So, Kerry, what do you hope that people take away from this book? I think it's an inspirational story, Orlando, of a guy overcoming the odds is a great uh, title for the book because he did. A small town, raised by his grandparents, uh, you know, didn't have a lot of money, uh, you know, was a late bloomer physically, not recruited by anybody. Uh, you know, got one scholarship offer, Division Three, then Longwood College, and wound up playing 17 years in the NBA. Uh, to, to, you know, the, one of the key forces for those two teams that made the finals of the Blazers in the early 90s. All those things, I think, uh, made a pretty compelling story. Kerry, folks are wondering, how do I get the book? Yeah, uh, Bill Sean is going to do a, uh, a book signing on January 7th with me, which would be exciting at Moda Center when the Blazers play the Cavaliers. We've also, go to kerryeggers.com. We have a book event, a schedule. We're going all around the state. We're going to Lincoln City. We've got Medford and, and Bend uh, in January. If you need to get a book, go to kerryeggers.com. And you mentioned before the interview, the proceeds go to a special place? J Jerome Kersey uh, Scholarship Fund at Longwood University started by Kevin Brandon, a very close friend of his. Uh, we're, we're not too far away from endowing that fund, which, which would mean that every year a, a Longwood player would receive that scholarship. And, and it's really neat that we're able to do that. The Dean of Portland Sports, Kerry Eggers, and the author of the Jerome Kersey Overcoming the Odds. Appreciate you, man. Thank you, Orlando.